If you've ever wondered what's the difference between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, this video is for you. Hello, my friends. My name is Pi. Welcome to SLR Lounge. I'm teaming up with Adobe to bring you a series of tutorials, this one being focused on Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. And specifically, Lightroom and its cloud-based ecosystem opens up a new world when it comes to workflow possibilities. So what I wanna do is kind of, well, take you into my workflow and show you how I like to use both of these apps. Hopefully it's gonna give you some ideas along the way. Let's not waste any time. I wanna start with Lightroom Classic. So if you're an enthusiast or a pro that's been using Lightroom for several years, this is probably the version of the app that you are most familiar with. If you're new to Lightroom Classic, what I want you to understand first is Lightroom Classic is a catalog-based system that's stored locally, meaning the images as well as your catalog that references those images are on your local computer or hard drives. Let me show you exactly what that means. So I'm gonna pull up my perpetual Lightroom catalog. This is just what I call this catalog. This is my ongoing catalog that basically has kind of all of my best of images, well, really since I started shooting. If I actually bring up my Explore window, or if you're on a Mac, you can pull up Finder, I'm gonna to go to my computer and what I'm gonna show you is the hard drive where I store this. So I call it my Pi Whip work in process and this is an external USB-C SSD drive. Why? Because it's fast, it's small, and it's portable. So I can take these images along with my Lightroom catalog anywhere. Okay, so if I double click on this, you'll see this is my perpetual stills folder inside of this. This is where the Lightroom catalog is being stored. So these are all the different files. It's not important that you understand these. If I double click on this catalog file, that's actually going to pull up Lightroom. What you're seeing here in this preview essentially is Lightroom referencing all of the images that I have imported into this catalog. It's important to know though that those images are actually stored within the catalog it's simply referencing those images so your catalog references the location of your images on your local computer okay so my images are actually being stored in the same folder under these different folders and this catalog file is referencing them now that distinction is huge because in Lightroom, so in this app, this is all cloud-based. It's all associated with my or your Adobe ID and all of the images that you upload are gonna be stored in the cloud. That is a huge distinction. We're gonna talk about what that means in just a moment. For now, let's go back and talk a bit more about Lightroom Classic. So going back to Lightroom Classic, you're gonna notice, I'm gonna press Shift F just to go full screen so we don't have any distractions. You'll notice on the top panel, we have several different modules. So the library module, this is where we're gonna basically organize our images. We're gonna select our keepers, toss out our rejects, all of our organization, collections, everything we're gonna do here. In the develop module, this is where we're gonna spend probably the majority of our time and we're actually going to edit our images. We have all of our sliders and tools available and this is where the magic happens. When it comes to Lightroom Classic, I'm primarily just using the library and develop modules. In fact, I'll bet that's where most of us spend all of our time. When it comes to this, organizing and editing our images, Lightroom Classic and Lightroom are virtually identical. Lightroom in its cloud-based version can organize your images. You have the same ability to organize. You can cull, meaning choose your keepers throughout your rejects. You can also edit your images. All of this is identical. So for the primary functions, they're very, very similar. I make this distinction because there's a common misconception, one that I also used to think myself, and that is that Lightroom Classic is far more powerful of an application than Lightroom, and that's simply not true. For what we're doing, editing and organizing images, Lightroom Classic and Lightroom are virtually the same. We simply think of Lightroom Classic as a local solution and Lightroom as the cloud-based solution. This means that both Lightroom and Lightroom Classic are more than adequate from enthusiast all the way up to professional needs. So with that, what the heck is the difference? What are we using Lightroom Classic for? Well, I want you guys to think of it in terms of this, volume. Lightroom Classic is designed for high volume. 
Specifically, I'm gonna tell you that I am a wedding and portrait photographer. Now this means that when I go out onto client shoots, whether it's an event, whether it's a wedding, whether it's a family or any other type of portrait session, I'm coming back with hundreds, if not thousands of images. In cases like this, when you're dealing with large volumes of images, it makes more sense to do that locally versus uploading them to the cloud. So I wanna use Lightroom Classic to organize, to cull, selecting my keepers, tossing out my rejects, as well as to edit my images because I wanna have my keyboard and mouse available. I wanna be able to especially use the mouse when it comes to local adjustments, to be able to quickly make adjustments over those images, and then also to be able to use Lightroom Classic's batch editing functionality to get through those images quicker. Okay, you understand Lightroom Classic. Now let's jump over to Lightroom. So if I'm in Lightroom and I press G, I can actually toggle between two different grid views. And you'll notice that these views are very similar to the grid views that you'll find in Lightroom Classic's library module. This is exactly the same place where we're gonna essentially organize our images. We can rate them by stars, we can set flag status, we can do all the things that we would do, organize albums, etc., inside of Lightroom and its cloud-based system. We can also jump over here, press this little button on the right side menu and access the entire edit menu where we can have essentially the same tools that we would inside of Lightroom Classic to edit our images. So by and large, Lightroom and Lightroom Classic share the same tools when it comes to what we're doing most. The difference being is back in this grid view, all of the images that you're seeing are stored on the cloud. This means that these images are available anywhere. So I can grab my phone, I can grab a tablet, I can not only access those images, I can edit those images using the exact same Lightroom tools as well as my presets. Because guess what? Your Lightroom Classic presets will sync over to Lightroom. So I can do all of my editing on the go, I can have everything with me from my phone or my tablet as well as a desktop. Now this brings me to another misconception that I wanted to address, which is oftentimes we refer to Lightroom Classic as a desktop application and Lightroom as a mobile application, but that's not correct. Because as you can see, we have Lightroom here on the desktop. We also have Lightroom Classic on the desktop. What I want you to remember is Lightroom Classic is local and desktop only. Lightroom is cloud-based. You can use it from the desktop, from your phone, and all of the images sync across. I'm gonna talk about why this is so powerful in just a moment, but for now, we have that distinction there. Before I talk about my personal workflow, let me show you one other cool thing that I really love about Lightroom. So if you jump here to this left side panel, you'll notice at the top we have Learn and Discover. Under Learn, you're gonna find creatives and Adobe partners like myself who have created full-on interactive tutorials for you inside of Lightroom, meaning you can actually click these tutorials and it's gonna guide you through step-by-step -step what you should do and what those different sliders are doing to your images. If you click Discover, you're gonna find edits. These are before and after images that are submitted by the community as well as other creatives like myself, where you'll see all of the settings that were used to get the image to its final product. You can even download those settings as a preset. This makes Lightroom not only an amazing editor from your desktop to your mobile devices to anywhere you're at, it also makes it a really powerful learning tool. Last but not least, let me summarize and walk you through my own personal workflow. So most of my high volume work, this is basically all of my work professionally from weddings to events to family portraits, engagements, everything. I'm gonna run those through Lightroom Classic. Why? Because I want to load those images locally. I want to organize, choose my keepers, everything locally and edit using batch editing tools inside of Lightroom Classic with my keyboard and mouse available. When I've gone through that process, then I'm gonna select out my keepers, the images that I actually want to place into my ongoing portfolio, and I actually will sync those over to Lightroom. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment, but why do I do this? 
The reason is because I wanna have all those images available from my phone. See, my phone is where I do much of my marketing, from social media to sharing teasers with clients and also showing prospective clients my images. So I actually want those images available to me everywhere I go. So when I have my final images, I'm gonna sync those into Lightroom. Now, what about Lightroom and its cloud-based ecosystem? So when I'm not doing high volume, when I'm just editing a few images, I'm gonna go straight to Lightroom. Number one, there's no file management, there's no backup. I import the images, they go online, they're in the cloud, I'm good to go. I can edit using the exact same tools that I would from my desktop and I can do it on the go anywhere. So when I'm talking low volume, I'm just editing a few images, I'm gonna stick with just Lightroom. Once I'm done editing, I've got all my images on all my devices and I also have my favorites on that same Lightroom cloud as well, so I can access those images for any social media or client sharing purpose right from my phone, from my tablet, or my laptop on the go. Real quick, before we end, let me show you a quick way to get your images from Lightroom Classic synced over to Lightroom. So inside of the library module, all you have to do is go down to collections. You're gonna select create a collection and you can name it wherever you want. You can place it wherever you want. The important thing here is that you select the sync with Lightroom check mark. Now, once that's done, you can select any image. I canceled out because I already have several of these, but all of these are syncing collections. So if I drag and drop any image into one of these collections, it will not only sync over to Lightroom, whatever changes I make inside of Lightroom for my phone or any device are actually going to sync back to this Lightroom Classic catalog. Now, quick note, when you're using the sync feature, it's gonna take over a smart preview to Lightroom. That image is gonna be more than adequate for any of your on-the-go needs inside of Lightroom. On top of that, when you're syncing with smart previews, it's actually not gonna use any of your Adobe storage. So there's a huge benefit there and you still get the syncing benefits. Anything made or any changes made inside of Lightroom are gonna sync back to that Lightroom Classic catalog. I hope this video has been helpful. Hopefully you have enjoyed it, taking away a few tips. And if you did, well, you know what to do. You know what helped us out here on the channel. I'd love to see you guys comment below. We'll also link up all the software that we used in the description of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.